Central Texas firefighters have seen dozens of wildfires this year, and that includes the thousands of acres burned on Fort Hood's near the Crittenberg area. But there is a company that works to provide air support on these fires with the latest technology available. Six News reporter Andrew Moore introduces us to one such pilot who helps from the skies. We can deliver upwards of uh, 25,000 gallons an hour uh, per Per aircraft, you get four fire bosses on a fire that that adds up pretty quick. David Finnan has been flying a fire boss for the last six years. When a massive fire broke out on Fort Hood's range, he was one of the Texas based pilots that responded. The first step was to collect water from Belton Lake after making sure it was safe. We do a recon pass. Lead plane will go down low looking for obstacles. The fire boss collects water by opening pipes on its landing floats and then scooping through the water at 75 miles an hour. Finnan says it's no easy task. We have affectionately refer to the scoop button as the rodeo button. The nose is doing this on the water all the way through the scoop. In just 17 seconds, the plane's 800 gallon hoppers are full and then they fly single file to the drop zone. The team must now avoid the large column of smoke and work to identify any hidden structures that would pose a danger. We, we really walk on eggshells on the first drop, we make several laps to make sure we're obstacle free. Finally, they release those 800 gallons in less than three seconds. The team then repeats the process for one or more hours. Crittenberg required an even longer response. We had it was basically 60 loads each over two days uh, on that fire. And while the job can be dangerous, Finnan says it's always worth it in the end. And this is the most rewarding flying job I've ever done. Many times, especially in Texas, we stopped a flaming front that would have burned someone's house down. It's, it's a pretty good feeling. Andrew Moore, 6 News.